from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. The country waiting to hear what Prime Minister Menace has to say about the wave followed on the coronavirus situation. He is scheduled to address the country tonight and will focus on the new restrictions put in place, how they intend to harm the persons hospitalized with the virus, and the vaccine program. That according to a statement released earlier this week by the Office of the Prime Minister. Health officials meantime reporting another 75 confirmed cases for Monday, spread over six islands, 44 in the capital, another 12 in Grand Bahama. We're now approaching 15,000 total cases since this began. There was another confirmed death. A 42-year-old New Providence man is the latest victim. That takes the total to 285 now. Several other deaths are under investigation. Healthcare work is still busy with 93 persons still in hospital, 10 in the ICU. Health Minister Wells telling reporters yesterday there are no plans at this point to make vaccination mandatory for health care workers. And he says no decision has been made yet on a possible extension of the emergency orders. As we approach August 13th, the government will assess, reassess, look at our... Uh, where we are, where we want to go economically, where we want to go um, nationally in, in, in our social sphere and the mental health of the Bahamian people. The current orders are set to expire the middle of next month. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police in Grand Bahama looking into what is believed to be an industrial accident there. Three men, a Bahamian, an American, and a Dominican, found unresponsive on an industrial site in Freeport. They were cleaning a tank filled with scrap metal, and it's believed they died after inhaling toxic fumes. Investigations continue. In the capital, police looking into the death of a man whose body was found in a liquor store on First Street, the Grove, yesterday morning. He's been identified by relatives as Gerald Coakley, the owner of the store. Police say they're going to need an autopsy to determine what happened to him, but there was some injury to his body. His death not classified at this point. Nineteen migrants plead guilty to charges brought against them in court in Freeport. They've been turned over to immigration officials and will be deported. Disappointment for high school track athlete Thea Cooper. She was ready to head for Tokyo as part of the 4x4 relay team, but her COVID test came back positive, and she can't go. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, mostly sunny today, no systems in the area, chance of pop-up shower, size in the upper 80s, 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, low tide now, the next high around noon, turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s, no systems in the tropics. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines, weather is making news again. A heat wave is hitting southern Europe and is driving the spread of wildfires across the area. Spain is hard hit and officials say fires are causing a disaster without precedence in Sardinia. Health officials in the U.S. grappling with what to do to stop the increasing cases of COVID-19 in that country, mostly among unvaccinated people. Mask mandates are being recommended again by the American Centers for Disease Control. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubis $5.18, the middle of the week here in the capital. Now your sports notes, brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The Tribune has extensive coverage of the Olympic Games. 
Read about the disappointment for track and field's Thea Cooper because of a positive COVID test. Find out how she's handling that situation. The story is in the Tribune Sports. There's a reporter on Isaac Bastion, one of our two swimmers in Tokyo. And get details of the Olympic Games in general. American gymnast Simone Biles is making plenty of news. Problems for the Track and Field Coaches Association here at home. Find out what that's about in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.